Hey, in this video I'm going to show you all of the steps that I go through to style a glass for a drink photograph. So first of all, we're going to need our special glove to make sure I don't get my grubby hands all over this because I've been eating toffees today. So the first thing we need is a perfectly clean glass and this is about as clean as I'm going to get it. I've used window cleaner and tissues to, in order to get it like this. Once we've cleaned it, we need to get onto the taping aspect. And the reason we're going to tape it is because we're going to add all of the droplets and dew to this glass artificially rather than actually using ice and cold uh, liquids. And we need to make sure that this little thin rim at the bottom here, this is a particularly challenging glass, but the thin rim here is covered and the top bit where there'll be no juice will also be covered by the tape so that we don't get any of the condensation on it because you only get condensation where there's liquid on the other side. So I'm just using this tape here. I'll put a link to it in the description. It's from Duck. Probably made the video a little bit ASMR with that there. There we go. And I'm just gonna pop this around the rim of the glass. already got my fingerprints on it. This is why I'm not a food stylist. Let's get a quick rub. There we go, there's our glass prepped. And the next thing we need to do is apply the varnish. Now this here is crystal clear Rust-Oleum. Uh, it's a clear matte varnish for sealing and protecting. We use it for a lot of different things. I'm gonna spray it a little bit further over here simply because my computer's here and it's gonna be horrendous. So we need a decent distance on this. We don't wanna douse it in it, it's just a small, small spritz almost. Right, here we go, the glass is now frosted. And the next thing we're going to do is apply our 50-50 water glycerin mix. Now, I actually don't like 50-50, I've gone 75-25. I think it's a mixture of the spritz you own, the style that you particularly like, and then you work out from that the glycerin to water mixture. Now I've clearly put my glove on the wrong hand as well because I've got a gloveless hand holding this, but there we go. Let's give it a spritz. It's now spritzed. And these little droplets, they're just holding to the varnish now, which is great. So, what I'm going to do now is remove the tape. There we go. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera, but there's a slight bit at the top where it's not spritzed. You'll definitely see it in the final photo. Okay, now I'm gonna add my acrylic ice to the glass. Now I've not got my fancy ice out today because it's all packed away, but we've got some very basic Amazon acrylic ice cubes. And I don't think you'll tell the difference to be honest. And there we go, we've got the ice, the dressed glass after taping it. And all we need to do now is pop it in front of the camera and we're gonna go and take that shot now. So focus slightly differently to how I would naturally focus this sort of shot, but it's mostly to bring out exactly what I'm trying to show you here. So you see the top of the glass is clean like you'd want it to be or like you'd naturally see it. And as we scroll down, we can just see the condensation collecting and dripping down the glass. Now, if you look at it for too long, it will look odd. And I'm no food stylist, so it's certainly not my forte. But from a distance, this looks absolutely fine. Now, this is a cloudy apple juice, if you're wondering what this bizarre color is going on here. Um, I'd probably pop it up a little bit like this. A bit of clarity, a little bit of structure. Jump into sharpening, push that up to about 100. There we go. Pull in a black point, a bit less than that. Let's get those highlights in there. Perfect. There we go. So that's how I'd go about doing it. This is just a really rough and ready example. You want to spend a lot more time than the few minutes I spent doing this, but these are the steps that you go through in order to get it. I'm going to chuck up a couple of pictures of drinks that I've shot before just so you can see what it looks like when it's done properly rather than my quick slapdash attempt today. Now that was a pretty quick and sort of almost slapdash approach to things, but they're the key steps. So it's tape the glass, seal it with some sort of matte varnish, and then apply the droplets with glycerin mixed into the water. Obviously when you're doing it for an actual shot, you wanna spend a lot longer doing this. I've often had one or two hours go by just trying to get the glass perfect. I'm gonna ping some shots up now with shots that I have taken where we've spent the, the correct amount of time doing it to get it absolutely spot on with cans, bottles, and just general drinks and shots. These are the tools you need though to go away and practice this and it, it does take a lot of practice. One of the reasons why I'm not a stylist is because I don't do this day in, day out. 
I don't have that skill set to go, well, do you know what? In this particular setup, I'm going to need slightly higher concentration of glycerin. I don't have that experience, which is why photographers like myself work with professional food stylists. But this is the method to go for. This is how we do it. This is how all the professional shoots are doing it at the moment. So if you want to try and up your drink photography game, give these tips a go and see how it turns out for you. Thanks for watching these videos. If you do like them, do hit subscribe and I'll see you all next time.